That's the play, right there. Give me my ice face. Give me my ice face. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Did you touch me? I didn't feel it. Goodbye. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to another episode, the second episode of Unlocked. And this is a series where... I, let me adjust my microphone. This is a series where I take Pokemon that you guys suggest in the comment section down below and I try them out and as you can, like, I, I'm trying to find a niche for them. We're trying to unlock uh, their potential or their niche within the metagame. Uh, however, it, it's it's mostly a series for fun. I actually just registered a new account. Uh, it's named Moxie, hashtag unlocked. And if you guys want to recommend a Pokemon, go ahead and comment it down below with your Pokemon's name and the hashtag unlocked so I can actually filter through the comments and find them. So yeah, uh, thank you so much for the support in the previous video. We got like, we didn't reach the like goal of 150, but I'll make you guys a deal. If you guys want this series to continue, go ahead and leave a like. Let's try to shoot for 150 and I'll consider doing the next one. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm probably going to continue regardless, but I really appreciate the support. So this week we are unlocking Ice Q here. This is a team that I made while I was on shift at work. And it's pretty basic, but I think it gets the job done for what Ice Q is. The entire idea is we're going to belly drum up the way that Ice Q does. Ice Face will block any physical hit uh, and allow us to change into our faster form, which I'm speed crept, so that way um, when I'm in my fast form, I outspeed pretty much everything in the metagame. Uh, I'm speed crept for Talonflame in particular, I believe. Uh, so yeah, we're running Follow Me, Helping Hand, After You, Icy Wind, uh, Clefairy, in case they set up a Trick Room on me, I'd very much appreciate being able to After You my Ice Q under Trick Room. And also, we're running Head Smash on the Ice Q because Helping Hand, Max Rockfall will actually one-shot G-Max Lapras, which is really, really fun. Sorry, I was burping because I drink seltzer water. I, I, I love sparkling water, man. Alright, so Arcanine. Safety Goggles, Intimidate, Safeguard, Snarl, Heat Wave, Will-O-Wisp, Standard Set. We're running Nine Tails Alola, um, standard fast fast set. Usually, you run a little bit more bulk on this thing, but my team felt a little bit passive. Um, like the rest of the team is super passive, besides these three Pokemon. So I decided to run Max Special Attack rather than Max HP or a bulkier set. Blizzard Aurora Veil Moonblast Protect. The Aurora Veil is going to be really useful for getting Ice Q to survive hits when it's Dynamax, because it's it's going to be our main Dynamax target. And also swapping between Max. Um, Max Hailstorm and sw and swapping in Snow Warning Alolan Ninetales is actually going to make it so we pretty much always have our um, Ice Face active, especially since we can swap in Arcanine to get Intimidates and really it's just a nice little nice little rotating machine here. We have G-Max Urshifu standard set except instead of Focus Sash you're running Life Orb because you know Snow Warning would be pretty counterintuitive next to a Focus Sash. I almost ran Assault Vest but I couldn't be bothered to make it bulky. So yeah, uh, and we're running Special Defensive. Bulk up Corviknight with Roost, Bulk up Ironhead, Brave Bird. Um, I almost ran Body Press. I might switch out Body Press for something, but I really like being able to run Roost and Bulk up, and I feel like it really needs the Airstream to pull off what it needs to do in this format. But yeah, uh, if you guys want to do me a favor, leave a like in the video, and let's uh, get on with it. Also, if you guys want another episode of Unlocked before they come out every other day, uh, I'm actually uploading an episode of Unlocked with... <laughs> With Grap Locked, funny enough, we're, we're doing Grap Lock Unlocked for the Patreons this week, and that's going to be going up around the same time as this video if you guys want to support me on Patreon, it's only an extra dollar a month. And uh, if my videos aren't worth 25 cents each, because you get one video every week for 25 cents essentially, if my videos aren't worth that, I don't know why I'm making YouTube content in the first place. That was like a four minute intro, I feel bad, but you know, I have to explain how the team works. Also, we got we got a shout out from PokeAim. If you don't know who PokeAim is... You ain't playing this game right. Uh, he, he gave us a quick little shout out in his last video, which is super cool, for the uh, for talking about the uh, new moves on the returning Pokemon in the DLC. Uh, this team looks pretty threatening. I'm a little bit concerned about Duraldon. Duraldon really messes with Ice Q Clefairy. I almost locked those guys in. Um, but I need to be really cautious about this here. Ficious Ren Machine as well. Uh, this looks like a pretty difficult matchup, to be honest. I think I'm pretty safe to lead off Ice Q Clefairy, actually. Um, or maybe... Let me think. I could go Ice Q Arcanine. Clefairy in the back. And I kind of want to go Urshifu, but I also feel like Ninetales isn't a terrible option since I outspeed their... Uh, since I outspeed their Urshifu. I'll go, I'll go Ninetales. I'll go Ninetales. This, this series isn't about winning. It's about trying to get some dubs occasionally with uh, this Pokemon. The, the Pokemon of the week, essentially. 
Ooh, Urshifu looks like it could be kind of annoying here because it'll break my ice face. And the fake out wouldn't be appreciated. What I'll do here is... He might fake out my ice cube. I don't... I think fake out still has its secondary effect. I just blocked the damage. I'm not certain, actually. So, I'm going to switch to my Clefairy here. And dang, I don't have Protect on this thing. I could attempt to Belly Drum immediately, but I don't feel safe doing that. Uh, I'll switch in the Clefairy, and I'm hoping that maybe I can take this hit. I'm probably not. I don't know. Um, Water Urshifu, the damage is pretty underwhelming. So maybe a bulkier <laughs> Arcanine next to uh, Clefairy. It is not taking that hit. Oh my god. <laughs> there was no way. All right, we can get in the Ninetales, though, which is really nice. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll actually go for the Icy Wind here. Uh, Urshifu should be pretty concerned about this hit. So what I'll actually do here is I'll Icy Wind and I'll Protect because they should be going for like a Nuzzle into the uh, Ninetales. I'd be surprised if they stayed in. Uh, Icy Wind will both break the Balloon on the Raichu, which is absolutely useless to me, mind you. Um, but it'll also slow down everything that comes in. There's the Pelipper. He's likely trying to avoid... Oh yeah, I forgot I can't defend against this thing. I was mostly trying to defend against the... Um, against the incoming... <laughs> Uh, nuzzle to be honest. Okay, um, I definitely don't want them outspeeding me. I want to go for a Moonblast into the Urshifu, but I feel like that's so, so obvious. So I might actually just helping hand this here Moonblast into the Pelipper, anticipating the Urshifu to switch out now that it's within range. I'm, I'm hoping they switch out. It looks like they just stay in. They are very, very ballsy. Ooh, okay. So what's nice here is I should be able to take pretty much any hit from this Urshifu. I really have to, uh, <laughs> I really have to follow me here. I, I don't want to lose my Clefairy though, it could be really annoying. Let me Belly Drum up. Um, I should take any hit from the Urshifu, but I have to be really, really careful with that Raichu. Actually, no, I don't think I actually eat that hit from the Urshifu now that it has the, uh, the rain up. I don't know, Clefairy is a really, really iffy Pokemon. This is probably really... <laughs> this is probably like a super, super bad first game, but um, that's fine. Ooh, it doesn't look like I'm going to break my ice face, which is a bit annoying. Hurricane is going to do a lot, and we are confused. This is not looking good for us. I'm going to go ahead and Dynamax here, and we should be faster than the Urshifu. Dang, I really want them to uh, actually break my, my thing here, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, I think the only way I can do this is if I Dynamax here and go for the Max Hailstorm into the Urshifu and hope that I outspeed at minus whatever they're at. Ooh, they detect. Okay, that's fine for me. Ooh, they live, but they'll go down to this and they actually miss this attack? Yeah, they're going to go down to the Hail. I'm hoping I can live a hit from Raichu in this form. There's the Dracovish. Ooh, okay. I actually wouldn't mind this thing hitting me right now, because it will be faster than me. If it Ficious Rends me, I can actually get my Ice Face back up and change my form. So I'll go ahead and I'll just go for the Max Hailstorm into it. I'm hoping they just, like, don't Tailwind at all. Because <laughs> if they break my Ice Face, I might be able to actually win this game. It looks like I'm going to hit myself in Confusion, unfortunately. There's the Ice Face. It's gone. Yeah, and I just hit myself. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I actually had a potential to win that game. That, that was a little bit annoying, but that's fine, that's fine. This this series is mostly about fun. Alright, um... A lot of special attackers here. Pretty hostile condition for Ice Cube, but... Uh, man, I really, really want to go for that Rock Fall. I want to go for the Max Pog Fall on that, uh... On that Lapras. Let me think here. Uh, Veil doesn't look too bad. In fact, I should be able to get up Veil regardless. Yeah, I should always be able to get up Veil, which is super nice. Um, and I could lead off, like, Arcanine. Yeah, the Snarl wouldn't be bad here in the lead, so I'll go Arcanine Ninetales. Um, I want to bring the Ice Q, I really do, but I feel like I need to bring Urshifu. Well, we'll do, I we'll do Ice Q. Uh, and I think my last Pokemon... If I can get rid of that Toxtricity, Corviknight kind of goes in. We'll go Urshifu, though. It, it probably does just slightly better. Alright. Um, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I should be able to take any hit from that Lapras, so what I'll do here is I'll just go ahead and set up my own Veil. And... Jeez, I have to Snarl, I think, because I can't really go into Ice Q. 
I'll get my Veil up. They're going to Tailwind. I'm probably going to lose my Arcanine, actually. Yeah. I kind of wish I Protect on this Arcanine, but I really don't see... Oh my god, I'm stupid. Guys? Guys, that, that match never happened. That, that match never happened. It, it never happened. <laughs> I'm stupid. I completely forgot that that removes my... um. <laughs> that match never happened. You you have never seen Pokemon. That, that never happened. Alright. Let me think. So we got two L's already. We got two L's. Hmm. I mean, it's a Trick Room team with Dracovish offense. I feel safe leading off Ice Q here, actually, to be honest. I feel pretty safe leading off with the Ice Q, and I kind of want to go with the Clefairy, because, dude, the after you is going to be nasty in this matchup if I can do that. So we'll go Clefairy Ice Q on the lead. Um, In the back here, it looks like Urshifu isn't terrible with Sucker Punch and such. But I think I feel better with Corviknight. And I'm between Ninetales and Arcanine. I'll just go Ninetales because I really want to cycle in the uh, the Ice Face shenanigans. Ooh, okay. Um, I mean, I'm not too concerned about Gengar. I should be able to Belly Drum up here. And follow me. Or maybe... They're probably just going to Tailwind up. I'll actually go ahead and just get in the Corviknight to try to draw away attention from the uh, Ice Q, because they're, they're going to go for a, a Poison move, probably. If they go for a Trick Room, then, you know, whatever, I'm just stupid. As they Dynamax, oh god. Oh god. And they Max Ooze, okay. <laughs> I can live with that, I can live with that, I think. Because uh, I should take any hit from this uh, Gengar, and I think I can one-shot it, since um, they're going to they're gonna have to break my Ice Face first. I think I can one-shot it. I, I hope I can one-shot it. Let me max Hailstorm here and get in the Clefairy to ensure I live. Because I think Dynamaxed... Because this thing's stats are so, so frail when it's when it loses its Ice Face. If you look at Ice Q stats with no ice, I should have shown this at the beginning. It's still got good HP. Like, 75 is usable, but 70 defense, 50 special defense? That's not looking too great. It's not looking too great, which makes this a very scary play. But I think... I think Gengar, if it's going for Max Ooze and I'm Dynamax and I have a Clefairy next to me, I should be fine, especially since I can redirect the hit the next turn. Yeah, and uh, if Gengar, if Gengar is Focus Sash, it'll drop to Hail. There's the Flare Blitz. He's gonna break my Ice Face. No burn though. Max Ooze. Yeah, we eat that up. Okay, bye bye Gengar. <laughs> bye bye Gengar. <laughs> and we get our Ice Face back. <laughs> Okay, we can do this. We can do this, man. We can do this. Oh my god. Okay. Um. Urshifu? Bro, I don't care. Urshifu? Urshifu? Alright. Um. I think my play here is to make them really, really mad by removing their town flame and follow me. Because they can't, they can't remove my, my, um. My Clefairy here. I think they just lose. I don't think they can win. Because I can just cycle in uh, my... <laughs> I can just cycle in my boy in the back, the, the Ninetales. And we should be fine. They already wasted their Dynamax. There's a there's an Ice Cube in front of them. And they haven't broken my Ice Face. And I wouldn't mind if they don't, to be honest. I'm so bulky in this form. There's the Follow Me. They Flare Blitz. They do a significant amount, to be honest. There's a Close Combat. Ooh, they crit me and they knock me out. But I'm going to keep it real with you, Chief. I don't think it matters. I really don't think it matters, because I just have to stall out their uh, last turn of Tailwind here. Let me send in my, uh, ooh, kind of want a sauce on them. Send in the Corviknight, there's the Comfe. You want to see something nasty? I want them to think that they have hope here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to max Hailstorm into the Comfe. I think that's my play. They might Trick Room or something, but that would only make them lose. What I want to do... You know, I, I really want to break their spirits here. I'm going to max Geyser into the Comfe. And I'm going to go ahead and Iron Head as well to make sure it drops. There's the Draining Kiss. There's a Dynamic... Oh, bro! What? No, don't do this to me. Don't do not do this to me. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. Okay. We're, we're good. Bro, Dynamic Punch Urshifu? Here's the thing. They think they have a chance. They think they have a chance. And then, bada bing, bada boom. That's the play, right there. Give me my ice face. Give me my ice face. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Did you touch me? I didn't feel it. Goodbye. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you, Ice Cube. We, we got a dub. We got a dub. We, we're good. We're good. 
Oh, that's all that matters. That's all that matters in the end. Ooh, okay, this looks like a... Uh... Bro, I hate when I see this. You, your team looks like it's Trick Room, and it just isn't. It, it just isn't. Let me lead off Ice Q Clefairy. Um, Ninetales in the back, and I think I want to go... Arcanine doesn't look terrible, to be honest. Arcanine can snarl, can do a lot of good things for the team. We'll, we'll do that. I just feel I just feel safe with Ninetales on the team. I wish Ninetales got Snarl or some equivalent. Ninetales with Snarl would be so nasty. Does it get anything like that? I think it might get Mystical Fire in its base form, but or in its, in its Cantonian form, but... Does it get anything cool like that? Let me know if I'm wrong. I feel like I'm... I kind of hope I'm wrong. Honestly, kind of hope I'm wrong here. Baby doll eyes? That'd be cool. Ooh, okay. So this is not a situation I want to be in. I kind of hope he Dynamaxes, to be honest. But I, f I have a feeling he won't. I have the strangest feeling he won't. Ooh, you, you want to see him get real mad? I'm gonna max guard and I'm gonna switch in the Arcanine check this out I'm gonna make him real mad I hope he Dynamaxes here because I can ruin his day all right he's just gonna go for the regular version he'd have to be a mad lad not to Dynamax here right I think I can take it um, in my base form without the sun. So I'm going to switch into Ninetales and I'm going to ruin his evening. Please let me ruin your evening, bro. Please let me ruin your evening. Don't Dynamax. Don't Dynamax. Ah, dang it. I think, I don't think I take that. How's your day going, sir? I don't think it's going as well as mine is. <laughs> oh, we have ruined someone's evening. We have legitimately ruined this man's evening. Um, let me hailstorm on that Raichu. And I'll get in the... Uh, actually, check this out. Check this out. I'm going to max guard. I'm going to get in the Clefairy. the ally switch as he tries to charm me but unfortunately I'm just not into Raichu's. I'm gonna belly drum up and go follow me. What are you gonna do? <laughs> oh this is such a fun little team we have here. I'm gonna one shot that Primarina. Ooh okay he missed. What an unfortunate circumstance you found yourself in my good sir. Um I think with friend guard I eat every hit from from this uh, Primarina though. Do I head smash? I, I feel like I feel like Ice Punch KOs it. But I kinda wanna head smash. Cause I beat the rest of his team with like Ninetales Arcanine anyways. 80% accuracy. I feel like this KOs, but I'm just not certain. And there's no way he one-shots me. I'll just I'll just ice punch him and follow me. Here's the Electro Web. Hopefully I don't get knocked out by this. I don't think I do. It's pretty bulky. Yeah, yeah, let me one-shot you, please. Ooh, not quite. Not quite, which is a little bit disappointing. I won't lie. I won't lie, but he's within range of Ninetales. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll take this uh, opportunity to let my Ice Q go down, and I'll go for the uh, Icy Wind here. Because if I can lower everything speed, I should be able to win. Oh, <gasps> he missed the Ice Q. Tell me Clefairy lives. Ooh, Clefairy lives. Land both of these. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, you're about to get Blizzard. Blizzarded. All right, uh, we're going to Blizzard, and we're going to Helping Hand, and I think that'll do it. I'm hoping that I'll do it. Ooh, wow. Ninetales is so weak. We get the freeze, though. And he thaws. As he eerie impulses. That's fine. That's fine. Because I'm faster than this whole team. I just blizzard and I go for a heat wave. GG. Alright, and I go for the moon blast and I go for the heat wave. As he fakes out, um, I believe, yeah, you don't take very many of these, so I just keep going for this. Foul play might hurt me. Oh, he doesn't have foul play. He's a pure support set. He can't win. Look at that move set. He has no way of hitting me. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. 
Ooh, okay, we have some standard hyper offense for the format. Except no PZ, no PZ. In fact, he has all physical hyper offense, which is exactly what I want to see. That is exactly what I'm hoping for. Let me go and lead off with the sauce lead. Let me lead off with the sauce. Um, we'll bring Arcanine Ninetales in the back, because if I can get my ice face up over and over and over again, <laughs> it's going to be a good time. I think regardless of how this match goes, uh, I'll just I'll just make this the final match of the video. Guys, leave a like for Ice Q. It, it's such a saucy Pokemon. Once, like, here's the thing: I, I I consider sauce in Pokemon unreliable things that, under normal circumstances, no one would bother using. Just generally bad Pokemon. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right. Um, let me belly drum up. Uh, he can spore me, but I can one-shot that Amoongus in return. And unless he's Heat Wave, I'm not taking too much, so I'll follow me. I don't mind losing my Clefairy this early in the match. I would actually very much like it if he could Flare Blitz my Ice Q and give me my, my form right away. Amoongus should be afraid of me. Amoongus should be afraid of Ice Q right now. As he switches out into Talonflame, that's exactly what I want to see. There's a Heat Wave. He's going to be getting a significant amount of damage off. A non-negligible amount of damage. I, I do say so, if I do say so myself here. Um, but I believe with my friend guard up in a Dynamax, I should take it because we took 28% there. He did 47% initially. So with Dynamax up, we should be fine. Um, I might actually target down this Arcanine first, to be honest. And a geyser should do it. And I'll also go ahead and I'll just... Um, I'll just Icy Wind. Yeah, friend guard stuff lets me live it. He burns the Clefairy. We remove the Arcanine from the field. Make that town flame just a little bit slower. And guess what? Guess what, my friends? Unless that Town Flame is a special move, unless that Town Flame is a special move, or something in the back has a special move, Ice Q has free reign to attack here. Ice Q is just like gonna have a wild time. It's Ice Q's wild ride, and he's riding it. He's riding the Ice Q uh, roller coaster, and that's that's where the that's where the roller coaster um that's where the roller coaster simile or metaphor sort of falls off. So uh, please forgive me if I just decide not to use it from this point forward. Uh, yeah, I am going to delete your Drake Azult, sir. Let me max Hailstorm and follow me. I, I, ooh, actually, actually, he might protect and taunt. So I'm going to max Hailstorm the Town Flame and follow me. Yep, yep, got him. And here's the thing. Here, here's the thing, guys. I still get to keep my Clefairy. And, and my Ice Q can still attack. Tell me... Oh, his only Pokemon in the back is Amoongus? He has to be, like, speedy Amoongus here. He has to be speedy Amoongus. So let me uh, max guard. And his Tailwind runs out soon, and I cannot speed with Ninetales. Ninetales might be my win condition, funny enough. Uh, let me do this. Dang, I really wish he could break my Ice Face. I'm concerned about speedy Amoongus, because 108... 90... He could outspeed me, and I have to be real careful about that. I have to be real, real careful about that. Um, yeah, I'll just Hailstorm, Icy Wind. I think that's fine. Actually, no, there's no reason not to... Tell me you're slow Amoongus, please. Please be slow Amoongus. <laughs> you just got ice cued, sir. You just got ice cued, sir. <laughs> okay, guys, so thank you. Uh, for coming out to uh, the Ice Q Unlocked session. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the support. As you can see, we just tore apart. We just tore apart Hyper Offense. Uh, granted, we are a low letter. It's a brand new account because I wanted to make this a dedicated account where we just use some, some heat. So thank you all for watching. Leave a like to unlock the next session. And if you want to unlock a bonus video, uh, that's going to be $1 a month on Patreon. Uh, and that will be in the in the, end, the link in the end screen. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Have a nice night. And yeah, subscribe, notifications, stuff. See ya.